Okay, I'm back and we're going to do the third and final part of how to draw Freddy Fazbear and he's just doing his head. And this video is going to be where we're colouring him in so you know what kind of colours to do him. But we're gonna, probably going to do the colours at certain brightness because uh, we don't want the colours to look too bright so I'm going to show you how bright you need to make the colours of everything. Because some colours you might have to colour in really dark. And some colours you might have to colour in um, really lightly. So let's get to it. Okay, for colouring Freddy, surprisingly, you'll only need three, these three colours. Which this one is brown. One's brown. Black, which I'm pretty sure you could have seen anyway. And light blue. These are the only three colours you'll need. But make sure you have a sharp brown, sharper than mine, because um, brown is the colour you'll be needing most, because um, brown is nearly the whole thing. Black is the one you need the second sharpest, because black is the next popular, and blue you'll only be needing for the eyes, so that doesn't have to be particularly sharp, because you you'll only be using blue for the eyes. Okay, I might as well start off with the eyes since that's the first bit. I think Freddy's actually the only one in the gang with blue eyes. And just so you know, if you start off with blue eyes like me, they will look a bit weird at first because everything else is black and white, but um, it'll it'll go in. It'll start looking apart later. Anyway, I'm going to do the other eye off camera. Okay, oh, other eye's done. That only took like two seconds before I started recording again, but yeah. Um, I didn't really need to stop it, but anyway, the next thing, I'm going to use my black next, because that's the uh, next least used. So, the things you'll need to colour black is the nose, the top hat, and I like to colour the inside of the jaw black. Obviously not the teeth, but every, everywhere else in, inside the drawer I like to colour that black. So, let's just start off with the nose. So, still be able to see the shading a bit though. If you want to, you can use your ordinary pencil, um, if I can get it, where's the camera, there it is, you can use your ordinary pencil to colour in the nose if you really want to, I'm, I'm probably going to do that but if you have a really good black, that is a really dark shade of black, then I advise using that, but my black isn't too good so I'm going to just go over it in pencil off camera. Okay, over there, I've coloured the nose in a bit darker now. And, yep, the only other thing you'll need to colour black, apart from the jaw bit, um, is the top hat. Because you don't have to do the jaw inside, that's just what I like to do for detail. So, we're going to start on the top hat, and I'll do the rest off camera. So, the camera a bit. Yeah, as I said in the other videos, um, you'll probably need to make the ears a bit bigger than mine, because mine are just a bit of like speedy ones, to like quickly done them. I think the ears will need to be a lot bigger. Basically what we're going to be doing for the hat, go over the whole thing in black, or pencil if your black isn't very good. And then once you go, once the whole hat is coloured in, um, just go over a couple like white specks, um, just to make it look um, better. And then we, you can move on to the next bit. I'm going to do the rest of the hat off camera because it's a bit hard to draw when I've got the camera around me. Okay, there we go. And as you see, since we've coloured that in now, it does look a little bit scruffy because it was quick. But you can see, you, you it's really hard to see. You know that line in between. The bits for the bottom of the hat and the bits for the top of the hat. 
it's quite hard to see that line now because it's all been coloured in. Anyway, I'm just going to do the, the jaw bit off camera now. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, there we go, I've done the jaw now. And I'm not going to be talking much this time because I want to get on with the video, I don't want to make it too long. So now we're just going to do that bit. And the lower jaw and the ears, okay. Back in a second. Oh yeah, and you're going to need brown. Sorry. Because this is the bit you're going to do most of the um, colouring with, with the brown. Make sure it's sharp. Okay, there we go. It's all coloured. It's going to will look a bit weird just because this bit's white. And you'll see those little smudges about that because I haven't been being very careful with it. But just, you know, this, it is a good, just quick draw for you guys. Try and do it as careful as you can. I just did them smudges because I really wasn't being careful with it. But anyway, again, I don't want to make this video too long. So next we're going to be colouring these outside bits and the... Let me start again. We're going to be colouring all of that outside of the eyes and the eyebrows and then we're going to be colouring the top the eyelids as well and then after that it should be all done okay I'll be back in a second there we go he's done now we've done all of it now so you know just so you know the ears in the inner bits of the ears are, are a darker brown than the outer bits same for the other ears. but the rest of the brown is all the same colour the same brightness Okay, because it doesn't need to be a really dark brown. Yeah, that's how I did it. And one more thing, when you colour in the nose, make sure you go over the shading a bit as well, just to make sure you can still see the shading on pieces that I've coloured with black. Okay, it's just a word of advice. And we've finished. I hope you have liked my how to draw videos. Because I do do quite a bit of hard work on these to make them good. And just so you know, these are quite quick draws. As I've said about a million times for the videos. So please do be careful when you draw these. Okay. And that's all I've really got to say. And I don't know who I'm going to be drawing next. I might draw a character from another game. But I definitely know I will be doing another Five Nights at Freddy's how to draw very soon. So Freddy isn't going to be the only one. I'll probably do the next Five Nights at Freddy's will probably be Bonnie. But um, I might do characters from other games as well. So that's all for this video. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.